Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also gonna have a look into the CME chart later. So stick in here till the end my friends and let's dive straight into the content. We're gonna start here in the four hour time frame because as you can see Bitcoin currently is forming this potential bearish pattern. So this descending uh, triangle which could break out to the downside. We of course have seen a lot of bearish patterns in the last couple of days and weeks and they broke out to the upside instead and to the downside as expected. So let's see and wait here where we're gonna see the breakout from this triangle in the next coming hours. A breakout will come and this will then decide if we're gonna head to towards finally this 30k target that we have here or if we're gonna see a correction at least towards here this 24,000 support area. So let's see and wait where we're gonna break out here and make sure that you're ready to trade over on Bybit or Femex if you want to make some gains on this uh, breakout. Because currently, as you can see, the nine moving average right now is acting as a resistance and we're trading right at the 20 moving average. So it is still very likely that we may be gonna see here a correction towards $24,000, also where we had a lot of resistance previously and now it could be acting as a support. This is also where the 50 moving average is lining up. So this would be the target in case of a breakout to the downside and I think if we're gonna reach it is $24,000 and we will not hold it there is a very high chance that we could fall even towards this 20k area because this is where we have the 200 moving average and the four hour time frame still lining up so it is still possible that before maybe we're reaching 30k that we're gonna test here the 200 moving average let's see where we're gonna break out from this triangle I think this will clearly decide where we're gonna head to next so if you want to take this trade my friends then wait here for the breakout before entering into a trade and if here we have a look into the bollinger bands you can see that currently we are getting rejected from the nine moving average and if here we're going to see a sell-off then watch out here for this twenty-five thousand dollar and potentially even go lower because currently this is the bottom of the bollinger band in the four hour but we could also overshoot it to the downside because currently we have MACD and KSD shifted to the downside we have now a confirmed bearish cross only stochastic right now is in oversold condition so here maybe we could see a bounce to the upside so if we're gonna break out here to the upside we would have enough fuel left to reach this 30k finally so let's wait and see where we're gonna have the next couple of four hour closes this is going to be very key here for the next couple of days and weeks and now let's head over into the daily time frame because here as you can see my friends we are still far away from all the moving averages especially from the nine daily moving average right at $25,000 that's why I think it is still very likely that we could come down here to test this region here before we gear up for another big move to the upside because we always have the nine daily moving average as a support on the way to the upside so we can only start to worry about bigger correction as soon as we are going to start to close daily candles below the nine daily moving average because in that case it is very likely that we could come down to test the 20 daily right at $22,700 potentially even go lower towards the 50 daily at 20k and of course the 100 daily moving average right at $16,000 where more or less also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up. So you see that even if we are here in a bull trend we could even correct down to those levels which of course is also very normal for Bitcoin. Bitcoin always have big corrections especially if we move like this like we have seen now in the last couple of weeks and months. So just be ready to buy the dip and long the dip and you should be doing fine because for the long term Bitcoin will go way above 30k. The only problem is that 30k is in theory a potential local top before we're gonna see a correction and then head towards new levels. And since we are still very overbought in the daily and also in the weekly time frame, I think it is still very likely that we could see such a correction. But of course the trend is now clearly to the upside and as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average, we should be heading at least towards our target of $30,000 before any kind of bigger corrections. And now if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands here, you can see that we are still trading on the top area, so very close to the top here. So even a correction down to the middle line at $22,700 is still very healthy. And this wouldn't mean that we will continue to drop lower towards 20K or maybe even $16,800 currently, the bottom of the Bollinger Band. This could also mean that here we're gonna create a new bottom and then bounce towards 
$30,000. So these are the key levels right now that we're going to have to look. And the daily candles are the most important to watch here to see if we're going to see follow through here towards 30K or if we're going to start a correction towards our potential bearish targets before creating another new bottom and then gear up to 30K and higher. And here we have all indicators shifted to the upside. Only stochastic current is looking a bit bearish. We are quite toppy here and we also had a bearish cross. So let's see if here we're going to see a correction incoming. But as I told you, my friends, as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average, so above $25,000, we should be good to go towards 30K, maybe even higher. And since we're now in the daily time frame, let's open up the CME chart because as you can see here, we have a really big CME gap down to $24,000. So as you can see here, my friends, it is still very likely that we're going to start at least here towards 30K, a correction to close all the, all the CME gaps that we have below of us, at least the big ones. It's maybe not necessarily that we are going down to close all of them, but at least the ones that are close to us are, in my opinion, pretty likely that we are going down to close them because we have one here this new one at 24,000 and here 18,000 17,000 these two down here between 9,670 and the one here at 11,100 in my opinion is not any more likely that we're going to close them during this bull trend and this bull market maybe one day in the future but at least not here for the next couple of weeks and months in my opinion but that we will close these ones here that are very close to us and are still reachable especially if we're going to have a 20 weekly moving average retest and we could close all of those gaps here before we gear up here towards 30k and higher so you can see that here in the CMEs also we are still very far away from all the moving averages and since we still have all these gaps open below us I think it is very likely that at least some of them we are going to close especially this big one that we created here that you can see clearly in the daily time frame and now let's go over into the weekly time frame because here again you can see that we're still far away from all the moving averages and usually they always act as a magnet and that's why my friends the trend is clearly shifted to the upside for Bitcoin also for the long term we are very bullish but the correction down towards a 9 weekly or 20 weekly moving average are still in the cards so make sure that you have already some buy orders set down at those levels so you will not miss that kind of big dip that could happen and of course make sure also to scale in some nice long positions so you're ready to take as much gains as possible on the way up towards 100k and higher and if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex make sure to use my referral links down below here because with my links you support the channel and also you will get some extra money so you can do some extra free trades if of course you put all the first initial deposit on it and if you want to try the new co-vesting feature over on Prime XPT then make sure to open up an account also on Prime XPT because here they have this unique co-vesting feature that you can copy trade other successful traders so like this you can also multiply some of your Bitcoin because also with small amount of money you can do some very nice gains over here because as you can see here although this top trader have more than 4,000 percent in gains so here you can do really amazing gains even with a small amount of money so go out try it out and let me know in the comment section if it's working out for you or not and because this huge volatility in Bitcoin we always will see and that of course is a dream for every trader and like this you can really do some nice trades and multiply your Bitcoin on the way up but also on the way down because on Bybit and Femex you can take advantage if we go up you can open up a long position if we go down you can open up a short position so that's why it is always good also to trade with a small amount of your portfolio because like that you can multiply your Bitcoins and of course like that once we're gonna again have a new all-time high towards 100k and way higher you will be sitting in very very nice profits so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now let's see where we're gonna break out here in the next couple of hours i think this will decide if first we're going towards 30k and there we're gonna see if we're able to create a support here or if here we're getting heavily rejected and we will start this long awaited correction down to the important moving averages so we just need patience and of course also be ready over on bybit and femex if you want to take these trades and accumulate as much bitcoin as 
possible. So if you like the content, my friends, please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also feel free to join me over on Twitch and Discord. We have a very great Discord trading chat. So please join it, it's for free for everyone. And if you want to get access also to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then make sure to contact me over on Discord. The link is also down below here. So thank you very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.